be called Danger Mouth. If you all know it, you need to get to know it because I'm pretty much a big fucking thing. That was part of my bucket list. I just wanted to say the shit, get the shit out in the open. I wanted to check that shit off. Say in a room full of four people. Perfect. Uh, tell you a little bit about me. Actually, take that back. Met this cat today. He was telling me about his little bucket list. I asked him, I said, well, what's on your bucket list? He said, one thing that I want to do on my bucket list is go to prison and fuck the shit out the warden. And I'm like, why would you want to do some shit like that? He said, because you got to think about it. A lot of people get respect by fucking another dude in jail, call him his bitch or whatever. He said, if you fuck the warden, you run the system. Hands down, period, point blank. Can't nobody tell you shit about what the fuck you got going on with your life. That is your jail cell. I said, well, what if the warden like it? He said, I ain't think that far ahead. I said, you pretty much a faggot. Straight out. <laughs> Thinking about the bucket list. Anybody got goals? I know everybody got dreams, goals, shit like that. One of my dreams, I think I grew up as a fucked up child because I didn't have common dreams like being a basketball player, football player, shit like that. One of my goals was to actually be a drug dealer. Straight up. <laughs> I tried this shit for a couple days, but the shit didn't work out. I had a plug. My homeboy plugged me up with his plug. He was like, yo, he going to get you a call. I said, all right, cool. Call me. So the dude calls me up. He was like, yo, I got this party. I got like three bad bitches over here that you need to meet. I'm like, dude, I ain't want to come to no fucking party. I'm talking about the drugs. I just want the dope. Give me the dope. He hung up on me. That was the end of my drug career. Because I didn't get the drug lingo like they say you got bad bitches. I didn't understand that shit. So that was the end of that shit. My next goal was to be a stripper. <laughs> Y'all laughing because what? Because I'm a big nigga. I can't get on a pole and strip. I can't, I can't shake my ass. I can make my ass clap. Don't think these tight jeans can't get this shit clapping. I'll make this motherfucker percolate. Get your mind right. <laughs> but uh, I tried it out. I uh, had a stage name. I was going to be called Drip Drop. I was going to have like one drip of water come from the ceiling. And I was going to dribble the shit from right to left butt cheek. But the shit didn't pan out. I tried to do a dribble, but it was a splash. I damn near drowned. I didn't know I was... I know I was scared of water like that, so that was the end of my stripping career. That was a done deal with that one. My next thing was to actually try to be a pimp. Yeah, I laugh and shit, but I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> it's real life. I tried to be a pimp. But you know how I was watching all the shit that the mag, you know, American pimp, the motherfuckers be rhyming with shit. My shit didn't make sense. I was walking to a bitch and be like, yo, let me tell you something, bitch. If you out there and the dick don't fit, bitch, you're going to get hit. And a motherfucker hit me in my mouth, and I was pissed off. So I told her, I said, you got one more time to put your motherfucking hands on him. I choked the shit out. She hit me again. Tell her, stop calling me a bitch. That was the end of my strip. That was the end of my pimping career. I couldn't get hit by my bitches. That was just something that you just can't do. How the fuck it look like you getting beat up in a strip club because you can't tell your girl to go get your money. The shit don't make sense. That's kind of like going to get food stamps and selling the motherfuckers in front of Walmart. Don't make sense. But uh, I just want to say that's my time. Y'all be easy.